What's going on, everyone? It's time to talk about another film review. Um, yeah, today we're going to be talking about an action thriller um, called Escape Plan The Extractors. So, yeah, I thought this was the first one, but this is apparently the third one in this film series. So, yeah, we're starting off with the third one. Um, so, Escape Plan The Extractors is, it was released by Summit Entertainment June 20, sometime in... June 2019, uh, stars Sylvester Stallone, Curtis Jackson, most, most 50 Cent the Rapper, and Dave Bautista. Uh, it was produced by Randall Emmett and George Furia, uh, written by Miles Chapman and co-written and directed by John Hersfield, who's also done other films as Two Days in the Valley, Reach Me, uh, The Death and Love of Bobby Z, and 15 Minutes. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those, so I can't tell you anything about them. And this uh, had a box office earnings of only one point seven million dollars. Um, yeah. So this is apparently the third film in this film franchise. Now, like Escape Plan was, uh, Buster Stallone leads with team, uh, gets put into these big prisons, and uh, at least in the first two films, yeah, got put into those new prisons and see if he can escape out of them because he's a master escape artist and mercenary and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so this one, though, is a little different. This one, there is, um, like a royal princess that gets kidnapped and they have to sneak into a high, an old prison and to get her back to her family. And, uh, so he need, calls upon the help of his two buddies, played by Batiste, uh, Dave Batista and Curtis Jackson and Curtis Jackson's like the techie guy who helps him get his plot his route and Dave Batista helps him find the help that he needs and go for Sylvester Stallone's character to go in and help extract the princess but obviously things don't go as planned and they run into problems on the way so yeah this film though is your paint by numbers action thriller it's uh super predictable and um yeah with well, paper thin characters so um yeah this is you can definitely tell it's the third one in a franchise they're running out of ideas and things to do i couldn't really get behind any of the characters in this film i thought they're all just like paper thin and loosely written and wasn't that entertaining i thought it was more of a bore it's a slower burn film but definitely um needed a little more spice put into it to make it a little more thrilling and stuff because there's only like two or three big fight scenes there is a lot of random exposition talking and stuff in it and uh that doesn't really go anywhere they try their hardest to set it up and make it seem interesting but it just doesn't go anywhere and the side characters are pretty pointless in this so you got your star Sylvester Stallone obviously he's going to be in the film the most and uh yeah Curtis Jack or 50 Cent Curtis Jackson whatever you want to call him he um he's only in it for like 10 minutes at the most at the beginning and then you see Sylvester Stallone or uh Dave Batista's right, and uh, he comes in to help, but he's only in it for like maybe 20 30 minutes at the most. And uh, yeah, he's not in, the, they're not really in there, they kind of don't do anything, they kind of just sit there and like boost each other's egos. And then, yeah, that's that. The fight scenes were typical of B movie style fight scenes, too. I'm not sure if this was released straight to video or not, but um, boy. That fight scene, I've seen better fight scenes in some, like, low-budget TV shows and stuff. Um, I was pretty disappointed with this movie, you can't tell. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. For the third one in the franchise, this one I'm pretty sure just killed the franchise. <laughs> um, yeah. I was not a big fan of this. Uh, yeah, the action scenes. It's just paper thin in nothing new. It's just stuff you you've seen before and uh done to a less competent extent escape plan the extractors is not really worth your time i'd say i'd say just move on and watch something a little more interesting this is your typical one like most big hollywood films these days are just throwaway garbage like so. so yeah escape plan was not fun it was just boring and typical um 
paint by numbers action thriller. So now with that, I'm going to give Escape Land the Extractors a one and a half out of five. Only because there is some uh, amusing, when the fight scenes are going, there's some good like gory parts and some like good things to do. It's just some of the martial arts stuff was pretty repetitive and didn't have very much flair. But the last final fight was amusing to say the least. And it looks like they're fighting at Alcatraz for the most part. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's not really worth your time. So yeah, but if it does, does seem like a film that you're interested in, then check a link down below if you want to check it out. If you didn't know this was out or anything like that, yeah, it's linked down below. Also linked down below is my Instagram where I always post clips of films I'm going to re re uh, review in the future. Um, I post clips on my story, and yeah, I usually have the film title, hashtag, and subgenre of film in the hashtag, so you're aware of it. Also, the, my letterbox is down below where I, that's where I post my first star rating right after watching the films. So... Yeah, you can follow me on one of those two to stay in the loop. Uh, like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, let me know if I should review the rest of the Escape Plan franchise or not. Um, yeah, and if you have any films that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, uh, comment them down below. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. And if I can find them, I'll review anything. So it doesn't really, I'm not really picky or anything like that. So comment away. And uh yeah, and make sure you subscribe, so hopefully we can find something a little more better and interesting than this garbage, <laughs> and uh, yeah, in the future, so yeah, make sure you subscribe, and hopefully you don't have to go try to extract the loved one that was taken, but uh, in the future, so I guess I'll see you all in the next one, and hopefully it's better than this, but we'll see. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.